What's up guys, this is the Rifleman, and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So to round off happened last time, I finally declared war on the Persian Empire and captured Esfahan. However, I now have uh, roaming Persian stacks that need destroying. So the first battle will be to the north, to knock out the army of Ibrahim Rad by Ivan Mezapa. And with all my first... One of my earlier on, all my earlier on uh, armies recruited actually with these demi cannons and militia. But let's get to it. They have mortars, but they're regular field mortars rather than unless they have quick climb. I, I don't have quick climb, but I've gone really. Maybe it would be quite good to try do some tech trade of mine. Hopefully, it's something weird like um, naval techs rather than actual military techs. At least. That's the hope, anyway. Bo I don't really have a good place just to leave my artillery. If I dump my artillery up here, with a unit of cavalry to meet them, and then let's go for... Bunch of militia on this flank to swing around and hit them in the flank. Let's create mm, see I can I can put them there. have my cavalry roaming on the right with my general in the middle oh god my flanking move is not going to be as flanking -y as I hoped then run you I can see what's happening in the far side Camel gunners, native lancers, they are going to get punched. Charge! I should have left some cavalry of them. Definitely should have, but you know, these things happen. Oh, and they also killed lots of their own native lancers. Charge one unit on to attack to bring the camels into the fight. Where's my cavalry? The camel gunners, they are camel gunners. Bring my cavalry over to the centre.
let's have them running. Cavalry in. Charge on. Let's get this unit of cavalry to chase down. This unit of levy. Just chase down. Chase down their infantry, I suppose. Camels are retreating. The complete, oh, these musketeers are just being destroyed. So where's their mortar unit? Definitely want to kill them. Musketeers are actually beating my Cossacks. So you chase down the mortars, was my general, what's he doing? Chased on the musketeer unit. Let's get them to charge my general bodyguard. Good.
at that. Massive retreat on all fronts. that unit of musketeers oh, come on take him out it's just that one guy got him get on to that unit of musketeers General's not doing anything. Continue, we need to slice and dice them as many of them as possible. Good, good, good. At this point, because they're going to escape, it makes more sense, I think, to, rather than destroying units just to try to deplete them severely. Oh, I see they managed to, they managed to escape. They're about to escape. So it's everyone against... Ooh, hold fire. Everyone versus this one unit of musketeers. These guys seem to be doing a fairly okay job. Just picking off the stragglers. It. as the rest of my cavalry come roaring in from all directions I did not really really did not expect um, my Russian forces to so easily dominate them in a hand to hand fight because I thought that was always the, uh, the Indians thing is their troops aren't so good but in a scrap they're actually pretty good or so I thought, but then I don't really play is the goddamn lot of them. Cool. See, I didn't actually. Oh, that's just my troops, sorry. Them, they lost a lot. And now they flee. And I must recover. But I have no money. But I head in this direction to try to cut them off ready. Then do I engage them as well? I believe I do. Let us fight. Inverse exponential. Exponential? Negative exponential. Negative exponential sounds better. The, uh, the amount of threat they can do to them is certainly more diminished compared to if I went on them easy and just let them run around doing their, doing their own thing. At least this way, if I bash into them, they might actually fall back rather than persist, they may decide to regroup. John, Jackie Arbuthnot Fisher. Similar mission. It's going to be my core. Uh, 
Then I want to create a flanking force to come around the right. Everyone, form square. Whom do you attack? A. Sadly, not as much cavalry to actually uh, provide a counter punch or to chase them down. However, needs must. straight on I suppose because my infantry is just so goddamn good at combat my infantry with this, I want to turn guard mode off. Oh good, guard mode is off. Let's turn off my artillery. thinking required for this. That was quite an excellent shot by their gunner. This is just very 
No thinking required. Can deal with that though. Not everything has to be an intellectual challenge. Well, let's end the battle here. That was sufficiently quick that uh Yeah, there we go. Look at that. 200 remaining. That was a full Persian stack. And yet in a single turn, demolished. Same or before you, Shervin bin Abdullah. Then I will move on. Take Zahadan, this northern force, will move around and take Kabul. And then we'll be hitting the Indian border. Oh good, plenty of population in Baghdad. And Nayaf is going to be next. Good, end turn. Britain's carrying on doing its warry things. France lost against one single Venetian ship. Beautiful. key will be to start taking Indian lands and also just massively reinforcing them. Massively, massively, massively reinforcing them. That most of my regions are poor as well, so I don't want to be... I don't want to throttle back on tax to make them grow more, grow faster, but at the same time, I don't want to increase tax to throttle me even more just to get short-term gains. It's going to be a tricky one. Huh, they're not even raiding my troops. May raiding my stuff. Yeah, their main army's falling back. Sending reinforcements across. So I think what I'm going to do is send the armies up to the north to go around to attack Kabul and not chase that army around. The army that's inside the settlement, they will become a counter-rebel force and start to move out and threaten these smaller stacks that are running around. And I'll recruit a small garrison for Esfahan just to make sure they don't um, feel like they're uh, rebelling. They, I think, could be pretty far along. There is a port in this region. Kronstadt is, is being blockaded. Aha, well, I said I would do all that time ago. Build one of those. No port just yet. Cairo is underdeveloped, but eh. No, I need to go to Baghdad first. That's what I need to do. Army being recruit, being recruited. Let's get some hand. Oh, I can only get one more. Only three units of hand mortars. Jeez. Only one more unit. Ready. God, this unit's going. This army is going to be rather boring. Three, so get some. Let's get some camel nomads just to mix it up a bit. Okay, so then this army you can. You're being fully replenished. You will also recruit a. Another unit of line to fill yourself out, and then you will. Not build an army board, build these two happiness buildings. Because if I send you outside of the city, you're okay with that. Perfect. So sit here. Keep an eye on which direction these chaps go. You can move out, take out that remaining singleton. You replenish. Get to the main road. This army, you can also replenish as much as you can. Get to the road back here. They're not within range to attack. Oh, new town emerges in Ingria. That should be it for there. Yep, that is. 25,000. I'm getting lots of tax income though, that's why. Good God, I've got some good ministers. Cool. 
rocket tech, soon be on the way to quick climb shells. And then this guy is going to tick on to the next research tech. Good. Finland is seeing some recruitment. They're still replenishing. Raid the hospital, naval hospital. And move on. Threaten Stockholm. Good. Sit and turn. I think my guy did kill that imam. And that's excellent news, which you wouldn't normally expect to hear in regular conversation. <laughs> Good, so I've got the imam out. Then I can send my missionary to Istanbul to start converting that city to Orthodox Christianity. Um, actually, I don't even need to there because I've got the church school. So that's probably converting. Needs real ultimate. I'll send it down to the Middle East. Start converting there. It's nice to see the the Europeans just still carrying on with their uh, with their nonsense. I'm slightly annoyed that nothing interesting's happened in uh, nothing interesting's happened in the Americas, for example. Um, but can't look a gift horse in the mouth. Yeah, there we go. More speed. Oh, sweet stack is coming in. I may have to recruit just cavalry armies to chase them down rather than actually chasing after them with my full armies. That's probably the best idea. The Ottomans, do you reckon the Ottomans are going to get knocked out by peace? There is a port in this region that Excellent. has not yet been developed. So okay, so let's get my religious chap. Okay, it's not letting me move him for some reason, so he can stay there then. Good, Iron Masters works. If you got metal roads, you do not. So let's get this infantry army here. Hmm, I think my game is bugged, so I can't actually right click stuff places. It's frustrating. Actually, let's not do that yet. Let's recruit some. There we go. That will be my raiding force trying to take out these lone rangers. It's frustrating. It means I can't charge them on. Fortunately, it looks like it's the end of the part, so it's not going to be a massive game changer. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get up to Ingria. Build you. started to convert you from I have started to convert you from Islam Persia's going to be boom town when I've finished with it Enlightenment 64 72 protected good okay so next text you Disney Focus on fire and advance. Not so much for the drill, but plus one to training level is always good. Gets makes my guys just a bit more elite as soon as they come out of the barracks. Cool. But anyway, looking at the time, I think it's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time, hopefully when this is fixed. <laughs> see you guys. Aha. I was just doing a bit doing a bit of figuring out because I realised I couldn't enter and I couldn't do anything. So it feels like um, this is what's causing it, so what do I do? I have to enter it on the side of my allies, though. It feels like. Because I don't want to lose 
don't want to lose Courland and Poland. They're good to have on my side. So let's do that. Alliance broken between Great Britain and R Russia. Great Britain and Russia. So let's request peace and trade. See if I can immediately fix this. No. Damn. Yeah, just realise I literally have just ended, ended the part and then started again. But yeah, I was a bit concerned by why I couldn't do stuff. It was an event hidden in my tech tree. Anyway, sorry guys for that. Um, now this is the actual end. Oops, sorry, this is the actual end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.